My name is Hank Klein, and I'm at Books and Books in Coral Gables, Florida, and I'm going to read a portion of the last chapter of one of my favorite books that I read when I was considerably younger. It's John Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath. In the boxcar camp, the water stood in puddles, and the rain splashed in the mud. Gradually, the little stream crept up the bank toward the low flat where the boxcars stood. On the second day of the rain, Al took the tarpaulin down from the middle of the car. He carried it out and spread it over the nose of the truck, and he came back into the car and sat down on his mattress. Now, without the separation, the two families in the car were one. The men sat together, and their spirits were damp. Ma kept a little fire going on the stove, but a few twigs burning, and she conserved her wood. The rain poured down on the nearly flat roof of the boxcar. On the third day, the Wainwrights grew restless. Maybe we better go long, Mrs. Wainwright said. And Ma tried to keep them. Where'd you go on and be sure of a tight roof? I don't know, but I got a feeling we ought to go long. They argued together, and Ma watched Al. Ruthie and Winfield tried to play for a while, and they too relapsed into sullen inactivity, and the rain drummed down on the roof. On the third day, the sound of the stream could be heard above the drumming rain. Pa and Uncle John stood in the open door and looked out on the rising stream. At both ends of the camp, the water ran near to the highway, but at the camp, it looped away so that the highway embankment surrounded the camp and back as the stream closed in on the front. And Pa said, How's it look to you, John? Seems to me that if that crick comes up, she'll flood us.